why members of the royal family have become the center of conspiracy theories. Prince William's decision to withdraw from an important family gathering on Tuesday, and the absence of any explanation, has plunged the British royal family into a tidal wave of gossip, speculation and wild conspiracy theories. Welcome to Royal Pancakes. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the notifications bell, so you don't miss anything about the British royal family. Some of that is pretty typical for a family that has never been far from the headlines in the modern media age. But the rhetoric has reached a fever pitch this week, especially in the uncensored realms of social media. As the event, a memorial service for William's late godfather, former King Constantine II of Greece, got underway at St. George's Chapel in Windsor on Tuesday, Royal insiders revealed that the Prince of Wales will miss the ceremony due to a personal matter. A source told CNN that William called the Greek royal family to inform them of his last-minute change of plans. Going over events does not usually lead to the kind of theorizing that followed. If we go back two years, we simply won't find the same level of online speculation that we've seen in recent days. But many have felt unsettled by the never-ending series of recent royal heartaches and health scares. The death of Queen Elizabeth II, the illness of King Charles III and Catherine, Princess of Wales shortly after, as well as the fact that the public had not seen Kate since Christmas Day, all contributed to the speculation. The series of devastating blows was compounded by the sudden death of Thomas Kingston, husband of the King's cousin Lady Gabriella, at the age of 45. It is understood that William's non-attendance was not linked to news of Kingston's death, which was publicly revealed on the same day as Constantine's anniversary. The royal source did not explain exactly what prevented William from going to service. With this lack of clarity, people have linked his absence to that of his wife Kate, who is still at home recovering from surgery. Many saw the prince's recent return to royal duties as a sign that the prognosis in the Welsh household is rapidly improving. Others have suggested that it would have been easy for the heir to the throne to join his wider family at Windsor Castle, because he lives just a five-minute drive from Adelaide Cottage and because his three children were at school when the event took place. If the role of the monarchy is one of presence, continuity and unity, it was a stark sight to see the royal family entering the church without so many key faces among them. Although the palace was clear from the beginning that the Princess of Wales's recovery would keep her away from public duties for several months following her abdominal operation, people are still trying to fill in the gaps. Kensington Palace took a rare step in confronting speculation about Kate's whereabouts and health, with a spokesman saying on Thursday that the palace had clarified in January the timelines for the princess's recovery and we will only provide important updates. This guidance stands. While William was not present at the memorial service on Tuesday, his diary of public events was not cleared and he returned to work on Thursday. The palace is trying to provide as much information as possible without compromising medical privacy. This is the challenge facing the old monarchy which works in a changing landscape, where people expect information instantly. It's not always that the public is insensitive, but rather that people care and want to know why someone they used to see has disappeared from public view. As a society we've become accustomed to having information at our fingertips, and there's a desire, an instinct to fill in the gap. The truth is that no one, except the people immediately involved, knows exactly why William pulled out of this family event or how Kate feels day to day. Recent developments have confirmed that although Welsh people are civil servants, they are also people vulnerable to the same struggles we all face.